Don't be deceived. Don't think that you are very happy when you accumulate more and more money. Okay, it is not haram, but it becomes haram when it will deviate you from Allah. The fitna of the money is one of the greatest fitna. Because when you, your main concern is wealth and money, you will forget. You will be very busy. You will not give time to your law. He is very busy. More busy and busy. And this is the life. And this is what the Rasul warned us. If you have a valley of gold, you will not be satisfied. You need another valley. You have 10,000, not enough. You want 50. Then it is 100,000. You want half a million. You want one house here and one house in Algeria, in your country. You want to build two houses. One car is not enough. Oh, you have a small car, Fiat or Lepta. No, you want uh, X5. You want to buy BMW. As my son told me just a few days. I want to buy a BM. I said to him, what, what, what about our Honda? This old Honda is a nice car. So what, yeah? <laughs> Why to pay 10,000 or 20,000? I don't know about this one. But when you go through this, it is not haram again. But for the believer, be away. Take care. Take care. And when we will go to the diseases of the heart, you will see that one of the diseases is getting more and more of the halal to be indulged in more and more of the dunya. You will be attached to dunya. The brother said to me once, uh, I'll build my house to be perfect in everything. I will pay everything to be excellent. The floor, the decoration, the furniture. And then he said, it, it will be my paradise. It will be my paradise. And really, I found him very, very attached. Yeah, it is not, this is not our life. <laughs> Try to see how the Prophet ﷺ lived. How the Sahaba lived. We are just talking, yani. Allahumma ja'al rizqa ala Muhammadin kifafa. Kifafa. Oh Allah. Give us what is necessary for us to live. Sayyid Aisha said, it passes one month and two months and we don't eat one cooked food. Mafish fire. La ilaha illallah. The room of the Prophet, when you read about uh, his life, one meter, two meters, that's it. When he prays, Sayyid Aisha, she was sleeping, he has to push her feet. There is no place. And we said, okay, our example is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we are running day and night. Try to detach yourself a little bit, a little bit, step by step. I'm not saying be a monk or stay away or retire. No, try, try, especially when you have a family and you have a woman. Some women are very pious, but many women are very demanding. <laughs> very demanding. If, you Allah, if Allah gives you a very a good woman, it will help you greatly in your life and in your deen and in your iman. And this is because of this, our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi said, مَا اسْتَفَادَ الْمُؤْمِنْ بَعْدَ تَقْوَى اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ خَيْرٌ لَهُ مِنْ زَوْجَةٍ صَالِحًا It will help you very much. But in the contrary, if she is a, <laughs> a dodgy woman or a dodgy wife on the we have to change the bedroom, bring another car. I want a, a new Sharifi silver and gold. Look to my sister, look to, and it will be an hellfire. <laughs> so the issue, I'm talking about this regarding life, our life. Again, work, gain your money in halal, but do your best. <coughs> Don't be attached to the dunya. Many of the Sahaba were very rich. Abdul Rahman ibn Awf was a millionaire. Uthman ibn Affan. 
Amir al-Mu'mineen, when there was the, the, the army, he said to the Prophet I will pay everything, all the expenses for the army, I will pay for it. And the Rasul said, ما ضر عثمان ما فعل بعد اليوم. Rasul one day, he said, everyone, please donate, <laughs> as we hear in the mosque, donate generously. <laughs> Do you know what Abu Bakr did and what Umar ibn al-Khattab? Umar ibn al-Khattab said, at that time, alhamdulillah, I had some money. He went running and he said, I will be more than Abu Bakr. And he brought his money to the Prophet. And Rasulullah Sallam asked him, how much is this? He said, it is half of all what I have. Half of it. Then came Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr put, <laughs> and Rasulullah Sallam asked him, what is this, Abu Bakr? He said, this is all what I have. All what I have. This would never happen in, in, in nowadays. Nobody can reach any yani, part of Abu Bakr. One tenth, one hundred. Then the Rasulullah asked him, what did you leave for your family? He said, I left with them Allah and his message. 